Hey Paige, this is a linear programming problem. So the first thing I did was I put the top two equations right here into slope intercept form right here. And then I'm gonna graph both of those. So the first one starts at a positive four, goes down two over three. So this is my first line. Okay, and I'll do the shading after I'm done with all the all the lines. All right, the next one is positive eight, and then down two over one, down two over one. And so on. So then Okay. And then x is greater than zero. It is gonna be a line that goes right through here. And y greater than zero is right through here. So if we were to shade all of them, the first one was right here, this line right here, and we shade below it. We shade below the second line, and we shade to the right of the third line and above the last line, and all those will have this common area. Okay, so now we have to find our main points. So our main points are going to be 0, 4, 3, 2, 0, 0, and then four zero. So wherever these overlap, so we have one right here, right there, right there, and the last one's right there. And that's uh, just because that's where all the shading's enclosed, okay? So now to figure out the maximum, we plug in the X and Y's into this equation. So the first one, will be 6 times 0 plus 7 times 4, which gives us 28. The next one, 6 times 3 plus 7 times 2, and that will give us 18 and 14 is 32. The next one will be 6 times 0 plus 7 times 0, fairly easy, 0. And the last one will be 6 times 4 plus 7 times 0 equals 24. So as you can see, 3, 2 is going to be our maximum. So we have a max at 3, 2. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks so much. Bye.